Welcome back to the finish line where this week's horse racing tips will come from Ascot. So again, I'm joined by Dave and Tom. So come back in part one where we will go through the week end roundup. So welcome back to part one and we will go through last weekend's race and sure let's start off will we? Ah geez that's Sam Spinner so wet, isn't he? Great one form over hurdles you oh. know. Galloped him into the ground. Why didn't I do it this is special? Yeah sorry I put you, you off. Do not really bother me yesterday. Like I have no. That Windsor Avenue shit. No no no. No issue. <laughs> great form around Southfield though. Great form around Southfield. No issue eating a bit of humble pie but like they're like the thing you sent me yesterday with the races, like all the horses that were going through and the weekend race, and beside it, <laughs> Sam Spinner whopping <laughs> wins around. Like, be gracious in victory as well as defeat. Like, come on. You are so all over this. You had, um, go back and look at the video and how much you absolutely were riddling into two of us. It was I enjoyed. No I issue. I tell you, I was nearly right. I said Sam Spinner would fall, by God, Joe Colliver, so he's, like, he's like Superman. <laughs> the less said about Joe Colliver's right, the better. Okay. And you know what I liked about that race? Obviously not the result. <laughs> Ruby Walsh afterwards, basically calling out Joe Colliver and saying he was riding the horse wrong, whipping the wrong hand, and then he just went, Joe, get it right. Horse jumping out to his right the whole never, time, have a, the whip in my left hand, Never hmm, makes sense. The biggest fan of Ruby um, on TV when he was a jockey. But I really, really like him. Yeah, he's as good a yeah. He tells it how it is. is. He doesn't sugarcoat it. He gives Matt Chapman a bash. So I'm all for it. And if Ruby, you want to come on this, you like us, just give us a bell. Don't mind racing TV. He's on. Uh, we don't pay as much though. Have you heard him on 2FM? No. Yeah, he's very good in that as well. Yeah, with, um, what's his name? Donico O'Callaghan. Mm -hmm. The two of them are really good on, on 2FM at 6 o'clock on a, on a weekday. Ruby's on it two days a week. Leon yeah, Blanche comes on and gives someone um, on a Friday night, I think, gives someone uh, that's looking for like sponsorship money or something, like a club that needs money. Yeah. He gives them a bet and they get like a charity bet. So like three weeks ago, he gave Leicester or like odds on, he gave Leicester at six to one, your man had a hundred euro on it. So it gives a special price if it comes in and they'll pay you out. Like. Can we get in on this? It's a good show. Yeah. It's good. Keep trying. Um... Cogri got his head in front. Go on, Cogri. Finally got his head in front. That one hurt me. Yeah, yeah I also bet him in that one as well. Oh, Did I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I just saw the result. It was one on the nod. Surprised. And you know what? Richard Johnson would have won on, on Rock the Casbah. He would have. <sighs> would he? Yeah, he would have. Controversial. He would have. Your man went too early. Did he, he though? He went ahead and then... But Cogri is going to battle all the time, like. Well, if you're going at that pace, he pick, was a full. He went to win the race. He went the full length ahead, and Cogger just battled back. He gave him too much time to battle back, and mm. then after the line, Rock the Castle was back up. It's a good race though. Two good old veterans. Good I love old, good races. old big boys. I love them races. I think all four veterans chase each other. Get that sorted. Yeah, I agree with that. Now that's Tom Dunny's star now. You don't like that the veterans chase yeah. at the festival. We had this last year. No, we don't need it. We do. We, we don't, don't need a mare's novice hurdle. We do not. And we don't no. need mares to my four chase. No, we don't. Oh, okay, I'd probably rather have a veterans race than a mare's novice chase. How could you not love that race? I, like, a lot of them horses are so high in the handicap, they have no chance of winning the handicaps at Cheltenham. But if they're all going against each other... It's what jump like, racing look, is about. It's, like, it's, the cross, it's like the cross country. If we had it, it'd give Michael O'Leary time to go and get his lunch. Who cares about Michael O'Leary? I don't know. It, it wouldn't be a highlight for me. Hi, talking across country, highlight of my weekend. Siobhan's going to kill me for saying that. It was... Uh, oh, wait, was, wait, wait. Hold on now. <laughs> Easy We land. have to say congratulations to Tom. He's meeting an honest woman out with Siobhan. Well done. Thanks very much. Yeah. It's all, it's all downhill from here, though. Had to get around to it. But When's, when's the baby, Joe? Yeah. Whoa, now. You're <laughs> <laughs> sure the only one on that train. Uh, Easy Land Friday made it made it a bit happier. Anyway, I was um, d well a bit easier. It, it bought the champagne. She, you're day. digging a hole for yourself here. I, <laughs> I hope she's not watching. Um, yeah, Easy Land. I forgot to put him up on the podcast, but I, I texted you to anyway. A few lads, a few lads have a French WhatsApp group, and um, they they were keen on Easy Land. Put it that way. So he got the business uh, done nicely. Shitload of money from. 
Yeah, the great, jockey though. Great ride. I hope he, Wow. I hope he wins again. Because yeah. then I'm going to just going to put my life savings on Tiger, uh, Tiger Roller yeah. channel. And I'm going to win everything. You Tiger Roll would beat that. You, and next Andrew Mason after is like, oh, he might beat Tiger Roll. And he, he nearly had a conniption. <laughs> <laughs> the jockey is awful. Terrible. Awful. He's, I told you, he's one of the best jockeys in France. And as I it's said, just how they ride. The worst jockey yeah. in the <laughs> That's just how they ride over there. Well, like this. Short and hailing taxis, yeah. Wow. There you go. Uh, where else we go? I thought, I thought my nap was going to win. Our nap. Traded at 1.01, jumped the last in front. I, like, yeah, on we go. I kind of like the winner. Yeah, Gallops. He's a tough little shit, isn't he? He's hardy, yeah. I don't know what champagne will, I don't know. 2-4. Should have won that, though. They should have. Yeah, should have won that. That was a good um, race. It was. It was a good race, yeah. What a race. Was it really? No. Uh, I thought it was a good race. Who was, dis- the winners that Who was disappointed, but we knew we'd done our money at about 9 a.m. on Saturday. It was um, Elixir Dunn. Oh, yeah, he drifted, drifted like drifted an absolute like barge. barge. 12 to 1, not a hope. Pentland oh. Hills drifted like a barge. They were both on the for you know, an yeah, awful school. race. It was yeah, an yeah, awful was race. They weren't ready to go. But there we go. I'd be surprised if any of them are anywhere near champion hurdle. Bar Pentland Hills, probably. Do you know? Maybe not impress me, but it's another sign of the the year that's in it. Uh, Warthog winning. His pipes horses were just not firing the last two years. Six, mm. <laughs> six, <laughs> and they had no battling qualities in them at all. He was he was beaten. I tipped. He was I beaten. T- yeah, you tipped the thing that came mm. second. A good price too. Yeah, you were lucky there. He was beaten and came back. And I tell you, there's been a few of them all year. Have done the same. He's actually mm. he's having a really good year. I and he wouldn't be my favourite trainer, but he's he's doing. Is well he on the Frankie same. list? No, he's not bad as Frankie. He's coming off it. He used to be on it. Uh, no, pipes won me a bit of money every now and again. Like, who's ahead? Who's, who's, who's on top now? Brainy, oh, Frankie. Oh, Frankie. <laughs> I, used, I, didn't get, I didn't get a Brainy on my mouth. Oh yeah, I was used to be a big fan of uh, Dynast for a pipe back in the day. Mm. Boy, he was a nice horse. He won me a lot of money when you were telling me when the Ryanair. I got a pipe horse for for this weekend as well. Oh really? Yeah. You'll like him. I might say. Uh, I like might it. have one too. I'd say it's the same Jesus one. Jesus Christ above. Here we go. Um, right. That's everything, isn't it? We'd go. Oh, no, 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 no. You forgot about your lover boy getting bet on Sunday. Oh. Andy D. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. I'm kind of yeah, glad now. I kind of forgot about that. No, one. I'm kind of glad. Because uh, now they're going to drop him down the trip. Look here. Um, I don't know. Will they drop him down the trip? Were you disappointed with this top? Because I was. I was massively disappointed. And I think everybody else in Ireland was disappointed by him. Yeah. Just because they packed it for the Supreme. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't know. I don't think the fellow at Pittman, the, the fellow at Pittman is a good, is a decent horse. He is a decent horse, but he shouldn't, shouldn't have beaten him. He is, but Andy D bolted up the last day, beating a decent horse over two miles and four. I, I can't be blaming the trip. I no, I'm not blaming the trip. There was, was, there was, was something wrong there. He was beating fair and square. Yeah. It Could be a blessing in disguise. W- wouldn't surprise me and next week comes out, he's out for a couple of months. Yeah, there's, there's something not 100% there. It wasn't, it, they, it wasn't expected. Right? Drop him he was, down. He was expected to bowl. Lewis Harry go 2-4. 2-4, two, 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 half a mile won't make that much of a difference in that one. Guarantee you. Uh, it wouldn't with Envoy Allen. Envoy Allen's running over two mile and he needs, he needs two mile four. Well, he's a freak. Even with... Um, Andy D looked a bit of a freak as well now, to be honest. Even with Andy D bombing out, he, he still has loads of horses, don't he? Mm. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a shitload of bloody novices. That yeah. are very good. Where does he go with them all? Exciting times. That's for another video. So it is. Right. Right. Come back in part two and we go to our eye catchers and we get started on Ascot. Welcome back to part two and our eye catchers. So myself and Tom had a little talk about it. Tom told me something yesterday and the floor is yours, Tom. I, I just re- I really liked this horse's run at the weekend. Um, I just thought all of his form is over two miles or two mile four. He ran over the wrong trip. He got outstayed by a grade one winner over fences. <laughs> he still has a click. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I think I dropped back to two mile four. I assume. <laughs> He's not impressed. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not my real like. <laughs> You're going to love this even more. Oh, yeah. Oh, again. 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 So you would have been You would have two year old. Seriously. Speed line. Watch that race back, lads. I'd rather not. 
Hang on, he's not allowed to do this anymore. Like, coffee? <laughs> this is outrageous. Every week. And they're all useless. They're not useless. I'm telling you. Where did Wiffy come? Uh, Wiffy came second. Um, and he just gave about 17 million excuses as to why he came second. He came second. He didn't win though. He came second because he needs six furlongs, which I said in the video. If you step back up and trip six furlongs around Kempton or Lingfield next time, he'll win. Uh, he just won't be much of a price because he finished second now, which is Every a week. Don't know. But... Um, Speedline, Joseph O'Brien trained two-year-old. You need to do something about this. Fourth on his day. Math. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Four, four, this, I, okay. Makes us look good. I guarantee you this one will win next time. <coughs> Match about time. There you go. Oh, I, the field against him, lads. The form of this race. Did you do that the last time, Sean? Sorry, sorry. Remember the week he wasn't here. I was giving him, and then he wouldn't do because... Percy. Oh, he's not running no I bet. wanted not running no bet. That was fair. Yeah, you would have won a point, yeah. but you didn't have the courage of your convictions. This horse, right, was fourth first time out. Uh, first run of his life at Dundalk. Um, Joseph O'Brien, two-year-olds, normally need a run. The form of this for Dundalk maiden in November is, is very good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Prince of Naples, the winners are rated 92, right? The second horse, an Aga Khan horse, who had been third before that, um, speed line turned in he traveled okay he turned into the straight and you could see he was giving them just an educational ride the two in front quick and clear and he just gave him a second to find his feet and then when he did find his feet he ran on very well um the horse who was next to him who came along down the outside as well um who are you anyway he won on friday he bolted up on friday um i think this lad would be the best horse in that race and if he's anywhere near as good as Prince of Naples, who's rated 92, he'll definitely win a maiden next time. Are you in the Kentucky Derby? <laughs> <laughs> this lad could, I'm telling you. He's, um, he's, he's out of Galileo Mare. Um, really, really nice horse. Fair enough. I'm not, I'm not going to crab you like you. Winners? The last one, winners, lads. Oh, what the fuck are you doing then? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, not me, even run. Will be second. Give, give him the two you told us today. Yeah, it'll be too late, but anyway, you can have a look the, back yeah, and see if they won. The video might not be out yet. Um, the video might not be out, but in the 4.30, at the, I'm just going to get which way around they are now, is the 4.30 at Dundalk is La Pili. Now, go and watch his last two races back. Um, interesting runs. I wish you'd just be more like Ruby Walsh and just say that. Like, they're but making I take, a, the interest in runs. Andy like, Holden has put this up Educational well. runs. <laughs> they, were they, were trying out the, runs. they were trying out the back to get yeah. boxed in and get a decent price and let's all lump on. Go back and watch his race. Um, and then in the 6.30 at Dundalk, Norvento. Now, both of these have been back. So I texted you last night. He's into like 72 now from double. sixes. I'm on the double, yeah. The double is like Trevor. 90 to 1. And the double? Um, double right. reverse forecast? No, I'm not. He's not on any of it. Like. No. It's fine. It's fine, lads. I'm telling you, one of these, one of these, one of these stuff. days, it's going to happen. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, I had Tracy Collins was the second one. Ran ran a really nice race to finish third last time. Uh, off the bridle, a long way. Steps up and trip. He'll go close. The video should be out by then. So six thirty at Dundalk, no Avento. Please tell me you've something that's not running. I'm honest. I have no real eye catcher this week. I was just I'm. You were heartbroken. I was. It was heartbroken. It's been a bad two weeks for me, to be honest. It's heartbroken. <laughs> I was just flying high and I've come crashing back down to Art and Windsor Avenue was just hurt me not to be honest. We but tried I, to warn I, you. I liked um, Chantry House, uh, Nicky Henderson's um, novice hurler. I kind of didn't expect him to win and then he surprised me. He, good Batman qualities. But I've no real eye catcher. I'm, I'm Art. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone is off for giving David Cuddle, please email me. <laughs> <laughs> alright Dave yeah I'll survive tough right. time for Dave right my one quick and simple Robin Nefari ran in the race Warthog won travelled like a dream dropped down two miles he'll win next time he's well handicapped sure looks it that's plain and simple Ascot Aska. this is going to be plain and simple as well Ascot Saturday 2.25 the long walk hurdle long walk hurdle do a double Paisley Park to win this and at Cheltenham my favourite horse is running. He's been off for two years. Lammy Surge is back! back. <laughs> he is terrible, but he's one of my favourite horses in training. And you know what? I'll probably back him to come second. He's not going to come second. He's, he's going to come second. He's like... 
to be fair. No, he's not. The world's end oh. will come second. Stop. Do you really have something... Wrong you say this and he's wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be nice. <laughs> you say this every week, but what happens? They keep fucking winning. But like, no, you some whatever about the rest of them, you just have a hard on for this fella. <laughs> no. To be fair. Is it to be fair now? Is it trained by a woman and you like it? <laughs> is it? Who's that who train who trains it? Deborah Hammer. I've no idea who trains it. He just he ran not, he ran last time with Cheltenham a race that was horse. that was run at an absolute crawl. Can you admit that you just love this horse? I like him. He's not going to win, is he? Because Paisley no, Park. No, he's not going to win. He's going to come second. Paisley Park. Like the bet in this is Paisley Park to win this and win the stairs. It's about two to, two to one, yeah, like four. Yeah, said this yesterday. That's the bet. Well, if you listen to me a couple of weeks ago, you'd be on. I'm going to Paisley Park seven to four. Anyway. Well, if, if if you if you read my blogs on bet opinion, you'd see that he was up a three to one. Nice link. In there, I'd be shocked. Yeah, kept something like that. I'd be more shocked at than anything this year if Paisley Park loses. Any race this year. Any race. Ooh, he's, he's, going, he's going to Punchdown as well. We'll be up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Jesus. worth it. You coming, Tom? You still against No, he's getting married now. We can't do that anymore. Probably working, yeah. And getting married. Yeah. Getting married. Do you know your Jew holidays? 20 holidays. Days 20 every holidays. Year. Yeah, they're all taken up. Yeah. He's going to South Africa and all that jazz. South Africa? Yeah, mm. blood diamonds and all that crack. Nice. Where do you think the ring came out of? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Lammy, sorry. Let's go, Paige. You're going to get us all arrested. <laughs> no, just you. What price is Lammy, sorry, to come second? I had no idea. What price is he there? 14, 14 to 1. Oh, yeah. About we'll 15 days. We'll yeah. We might get 3 to 1. I think we're not. I love him. He just doesn't want to win races. No. I'd, give, I'd give you 3 to 1 for him to come second. Oh, yes. Here we go. Point on him, come second. Two points. Come on, you love Two him. Two points if he comes second. You owe me a point if he doesn't. That's fair. That's yeah, a fair yeah, deal. Yeah. I okay. will play it. Well done, Tom. Oh, fair I'll fair I like the words. I might know where you last because I don't even care if you just. <laughs> <laughs> so we all agree right. about that? Yeah. Right, so come back in part three where we will get started on the graduation chase at 1.15. Right, straight into the graduation chase at 1.15 on Saturday. Why are you laughing at? I know who you're going to pick in this. Where? I just know. No, I'm mean, not actually. I picked the same one. Well, are you not going to pick him? Ploma? Yeah, I'd no. Pick him. No. Riders on the storm. Make oh, up yeah. for this. Make up for this absolutely bad. That shocked me, no. Dick and relax. That has shocked me. Really? I, that shocked me as well. Do I think this. He texted me the other day and said that. that. He basically said he doesn't have a thing for Henry to rob out horses. He literally <laughs> said that to me the other day. I don't. Let's <laughs> see. What were you like, Says, what says, says you Tim Vaughan there. What were you on at the time? I didn't put up any Tim or any Tim's horses. He did last. No, I, t- I, t- I texted I text you on to keep an eye out for, but yeah, he ran all right. Needs yeah, but he actually doesn't think he has anything for any Robin horse. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm shocked. Apple Tom, or I keep calling that Apple Tom. Apple <laughs> Tart. Yeah. Don't like it. it was Flow and blue. Don't like it. That's it. Ends Don't start there. Ends there. Last year. You have to back and put on blue at least 10 times. Did I not make you money telling him to put him in a double last year at Christmas time? And he went, oh no, he won't win. I said, do it. And he won. I actually backed him singly. Didn't do the double. But he hasn't won since. Anyway, what's going to win this? Riders on the Storm? Riders on the Storm. Uh, he's, I think he's got him if, a little bit more. If anything, this is easier than last week's race that I should have ran in. I don't know. I don't think it is. I, I, I don't know. Okay, Corral. No, no thanks. He didn't get the run last week. Exactly. Mm. I, I don't know. I think Paloma Blue has got a very good chance. I think it's between the two of them. Um, second to get a bird on the seasonal rear parents. Oh, you were actually are putting up Paloma Blue. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I mean, more shocked. Yeah. I think I, you should have a match bet. I take a chance. With Riders on the Storm. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah on, there we go. Like that. Seven points. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, I think he's got a good chance here. Um, proper proper graded form which Riders on the Storm does not have he has handicap form um, if he stays that's my only thing with yeah. Paloma Blue but the fact point? that he's bring, Henry's bringing him over here um, is interesting enough I think I think he's got a good chance yeah it was I, it was the trip that put me off mm, that is my the, only it's concern it's the two fight that put me off Riders on the Storm stays it and he's in good form he's mm. Nigel Twiston Davis got more form out in, this year than Tom Taff has I think he's a right chance. I don't know what price he is. I'd say he'd be favoured. One of them be favoured. Uh, on the blind side. He's a knockout. He's a mad yoke. Yeah. He, oh, he's, 
He's always deceived to be good horse, but he just hasn't proven it at all. The jury's out on him and OK Corral. I still think OK Corral could be an OK horse. But I'm bunch. <laughs> Go on, Dave. I'll be honest, this is a terrible race. No real feeling on it. If uh, I had to pick, I'd go with Riders on the start. It's yeah, a bad race. It's not a great race. It's, it's not a bad, bad race. Riders on the Storm, Plum and Blue, OK Corral. OK Corral would be my last choice. Yeah. He is a pig now. Wow. Tell us how you really feel. He could be running on that. towards the end, but he'll give whoever's on him some trouble all the way around. He's not he lost, oh, just to know, he lost the shoe in the Labrooks Trophy. He lost, lost his, his mind as well. <laughs> he lost his mind at the four miler last year. Uh, yeah, so right, that's enough of that. Uh, I'm Riders of Storm. I love Paloma Blue. Riders on the Storm. Riders on the Storm. Right, so on to Ascot 3 o'clock, the Silver Cup chase. Who wants to take it? Tom? Dave? Mm. Oh, I fancy one in this. I'll give this a go as well. Go on. Go on. I actually said this in the video, uh, it could be three <clears throat> weeks back now. He had his first run of the season against the uh, behind Lost in Translation at Carlisle in that graduation chase. R- won a really decent handicap at Aintree at the end of the year last year when he finally went three miles. Oh, I remember um, you and Nathan are raving about that. Again, we're back at three miles today. He's a bit slow, I think. He liked the soft ground, uh, killed the start. Yeah, he I won, don't. He I wants don't all the three miles. Yeah, and he's talented. He's good hurdler as well, so I'm for him. That race is actually Count Mirabel came out and was, was sixth um, in the bet Victor, and what's his name? My my old gold came out and won a handicap since. Yeah. Um, so that form has worked out well. Um, I don't like the trainer. He would have. I like the trainer. Not as, as in his. I form. he's just out of form at the minute. He's one out of twenty. That's the only thing that put me off. But I do think Kildasar, if it's not today, it's another day this season for him. Oh, he has said, a big one in him. I'm 55, he has another one I in him. I said a few weeks ago, like he, he will, I agree, he'll win a big race. It might not be the weekend. He'd be mine for the weekend, but it wouldn't surprise me if he comes out and when Ben Pauling's in a little bit better form, February, March kind of time, he could win a big uh, handicap at Cheltenham. Mm. But he is a good horse. Mm. I don't like tipping up short enough price favourites in a, in a handicap. But seven to two, I'll take it on this lad. Bellamy to pick down. <laughs> I think he's going to hack up. All over him in this. Mainly now because I don't really like Benny's Hill. I really don't like Give Me a Copper. No. Um, I just think Bellamy to pick on, he's got 10 stone 10 on his back. They actually dropped him a pound for his run in the bet, Victor. That wasn't you, a bad run. You should see the second. Uh, he, uh, the horse falls him in the second, and he's 10 lengths off the last horse jump of the third fence. He was miles back, and mm-hmm. he, was, he was just getting niggled along, niggled along all the way. He's up to three miles. Um, Warfog was third in that race. He's come out and won yeah. again since. Um, that was com- that was a really competitive race. Magic Saint, I came fifth, has won a race at Newbury since yeah. as well. Yeah. The, the, um, I crapped that race the, the day Happy Diva won it, but it was actually the form has shown it was form a decent standing race. up, yeah. It was his first run for 287 days. Yeah. And he once he was beat, he just got niggled along all the all the way up the home straight, finished fourth. Um, yeah, quite good form before he got injured as well. Yeah, and this is why I like him. And this well, this is why I like him against the horse. Like, give me a copper. I don't think give me a copper wins as much as he should. No, um, in, in his life, this lad wins. He's six. He's won six out of fourteen. Like he's he. There's no problem with him winning races. Venetia's ten out of twenty six for thirty eight percent strike rate in the last fourteen days, and loads of her horses are being placed as well. I'm gonna um, do a forecast. Tom has convinced me. I'm all over that. Lad. Yeah. I'm gonna do a forecast, reverse forecast, kill the start and tell me the pick time. Yeah, I gonna win me Christmas money. I can see it now. <laughs> and you won. I am. This is it. This is the forecast. This is the retirement one. This well, is there the, you go. We're all off to the boy. Yeah. No, we're not off to Dubai yeah. anymore. Oh, sorry. It's sorry, going in a wedding sorry, fund. Sorry, sorry, Tom. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, even stakes and then a reverse forecast. I like it. I think uh, Bellamy the pick down will take a world of beating. Eight. Eight. So a four to one by eight. Mm, yeah, I like that. That Creve, that Creve Hill is a nice horse, um, but he's he's improved this year. He's up to 155 now. Um, Benny's Hill is up 11 pound for his last win. Yeah. I... And, and not, the Bellamy the pick tongue comes down a pound so I'll, I'll have him all day long in this one. I'd have Mr Malarkey to follow him home travelled like possibly he was going to have a good challenge in Labrook 
didn't seem to stay the extra two furlongs. Mm. Dropped down three miles, has course form, has won over course and distance. He's like, one, I give him to follow him home, but belly mid ticked on is going to take an absolute world of beating in this. What uh, what the graduation chase lacks, this race has. This is a good race. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good race now. We'll get the next one out of the way with as well, will we? Yeah, what me on? Uh, this Friday, 2.30. We, we spoke about this last Oh, yeah. Week. <laughs> so, just crop in what yeah. we've done last week. Me, Friday. And Dave, me and Dave have already discussed this. Um, Angel's breath, breath against Dasha Jarasha. I learned how to say it this week. Well done. Um, Angel's breath gets three pounds in this race. I think the track suits him. The trip will suit him. Um, yeah, I'm... The I'm match bet's still on from last week. Yeah, the match bet's on, yeah. We'll yeah, we discussed, discussed that off-camera. The match bet's still on. It didn't... The two horses weren't declared last week, so I'm, I'm all for Dashiell Drasher in this. I think he's going to be a good horse. Yeah, I'd like Dashiell Drasher as well. I don't like Angel's bet in the slightest. I said it last week. One good run. First run of the year, every year. We'll see now the weekend. I gladly sit back and watch this. Also, Nicky Henderson said he didn't fire, and that's why he didn't uh, declare him last week. But then the day after, oh, he's great again. So that's the magic bullshit. He must just saving him for this, lads. Great team. He must have been off to, over to JP's for a new visit. Got a binocular treatment. Right. Oh, controversial. <laughs> <laughs> right, come back to part four where we will go for the Betfair Exchange Trophy. Welcome back to part four, and we're going to get straight into the 335 on Saturday from Ascot, the Betfair Exchange Trophy over two miles or one mile, seven and a half furlongs. Go on, you're on the same one. We are. I put him up a few weeks ago for the fixed brush hurdle at Haydock. Um, it's usually a good race. It's hard to equate the form at the moment because a lot of the horses haven't come back out and run since Ask Ben was in that race. I think he was favourite for the fixed brush hurdle. He's come out and run second at Cheltenham. He doesn't win that often, so he's run well. So. Uh, it's Umbergado, David Pipes Horse. We said it earlier in the video, we probably had the same Pipe Horse, and this is it. Yeah. Pipes Horses are in really good form. They're battling well. This fella, I really fancied him that day. He looked like he traveled the best horse. F to me, to my eye anyway, he traveled the best horse. I thought my money was in on this thing. Two out, and he didn't stay. Right, so I think two mile four, two miles. I'm surprised they're going all the way back to two miles, but this time of year, the ground is probably going to be testing. Middle of the pack, out the back, pick up the pieces. I'm full sure this thing is going to win. Yeah, I'm all over this lad as well. I did. I didn't put him up, and I didn't really fancy him the day that he did. But I watched the video about this morning, and he was travelled all over the winner in that yeah. race, like everywhere he looked. The winner, he, he was, probably he probably travelled a little bit. He was too pulling well. him back and everything. Like yeah. three and four out. He was like taking the tug, and then when he let him go, he had nothing left. So mm. did he get conservative right? What? Did he get a conservative? No, 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 no. He was, was hundred percent trying. I'm, yeah. I'm fairly positive they thought he'd win that race, and now they know he doesn't stay three miles. Yeah, but what I liked in that was this was that was his first run after a wind up, and I said to you like I I, I really liked them on their second run after wind ups. He he kind of went to when he went to pick up, he kind of went to stop, and then he he stayed on again. Yeah. It was almost like he. It was almost like he was like, oh, I, I can breathe. Mm. And and then he did. He stayed on now very slowly at the same pace. But it, would that not give big reserves about dropping down to two mile then? No, because he traveled so well. Like he traveled too well. Like he was on the bridle too much. Um, a big galloping track like Ascot as well. They'll, they'll get right. That's a long straight. They'll get racing a good way out. Um, you're going to have to stay. It's going to ride more like a two, two mile, two, two mile, four race. Mm -hmm. Um I think he is a very, very, very good bet. I am all over quite enough. Tra same as Umbergado, travelled like an absolute dream around Chetland. Coming down the hill, jumping second last, he looked the winner all day. He was only beating a length and three quarters into fourth. It's not bad form. I think going, he's, he might be better going the other way because he jumped a little bit out to his right, going down the back straight. That's why he was out so wide coming down. Can he travel like an absolute dream? I could see him just tracking the pace. He was up to the pace the whole way and he was the only one that stayed there. The winner came from the back. So I I get what you're saying about Umbergado, but I think this fella's going to have too much speed for him and he's only carrying 10 stone iron on the ground. That's going to be heavy. 
that's not a bad weight to be carrying around. And I think this track is going to suit him much better. When I looked at it last night, he was 8.26 to 1 now. He's getting a bit short, but I think it was between the two of them. But I really like this fella. I like the way he travels. I like the way he goes about his business. Jumps well. Going right-handed this time will, will help him. And I think he is a cracking bet of sixes. Match bet. No. Do you want a match bet? Oh. Scared. No, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm going to have a good bet on Mercado. Well, I seen it at Aintree last year. I said, right, he's one for next year. Don't be money at Haydock. I'll roll back in again. This thing is a certainty to win the big race. And he's going to be a decent price. He's eight. eight. He's eight now. Yeah. He's eight now. The one I'd put up at a bigger price is Crook's Peak. Seems to be coming into a bit of form. Uh, won three times last season. He travelled up, was on the race that... What's that mayor? Nicky Henderson's one. Uh, Doncaster. Con- Constantista. Oh, County Easter. County Easter. Uh, travel up really well up to two out. Jumped the, sa- the second last upside, dropped away into six, ran on again. Uh, finished fourth, not beaten that far cons- uh, behind French Crusader, who's second favourite at the moment. He comes back into form. Dickie Johnson jacked up already. Philip Hobbs horse are running all right. Not too bad. 12 to 1, not too bad. The- the thing about this race, and Tom Quinn has said it as well, and which sways me more to those Umbagado as well, because they do think he stays a little bit further than two miles, clearly. This race gets to be a slog, and horses that are not real fast horses have won this. Cause of Cause has won this a couple of years ago. He is the slowest half. Mm. I know he's younger, he's in his younger days, but he won this one of those bigger hurdle races that he won. This will end up being like a two mile three, two mile four kind of race. They'll race early. It'll go really fast. It's going to be deep and off ground. And yeah. this, uh, you're going to want to stay to travel him. around mm. all the way. Like. Yeah. But of all tracks, Asco doesn't really get that heavy, really, does it? Uh, They're very good drainage. Sure though. Times, though. You're going to have to stay. Cause it's, oh, you will it's have to stay. Galloping track. You're really going to have to stay. I think it's between my fella and your fella. Yeah. Right? That's good. Odds are one. <laughs> oh, all right, I'll, I don't know why I put we'll this. We'll get through this last race. Yeah, I don't know why I put this race up. Don't like it. Uh, a supreme novice trial at Ascot on Friday at one fifty-five. As much of a supreme novice trial now as oh, it's, it's just by name. Playing like the simple handicap or or Um Look, the one obviously the one in it is Ribble Valley. Um, don't know how much he's beaten up north, but he comes down here. He's very short price for this. He's he's the obvious one, but yeah. he's very very short. Master Debonair, I thought he was going to be a nice horse. He disappointed a little bit. I don't know. 136, he's got to improve. The one I'd throw up is a horse called Time Flies By. Um, interesting to see is Herdo's debut. He's getting chucked into a grade two. They're basically just going to give him a run here. He's won a bumper and was second in the listed bumper channel. Mm-hmm. They're going to give him a run here and see if he wins this. They'll go hurdling with him. If he doesn't, I imagine they'll just look after him for next season. Um because he'll lose his novice status if he wins this, but then he's won a grade two and he'll he'll probably go he'll go for a he grade one then afterwards. Um I just just looking at the ratings, like Master Debonair is 130 rate 136, uh Ribble Valley's 142, time flies by, I guarantee you he's he's he'll be rated higher than both of those at some stage. You don't need to be a superstar to win this now. No. Uh six to one, he'd be my each way shout. I like Mac Fabulous Ooh, if he's so Wow. Yeah. It's the first time this week. Yeah. Stop the world. I want to get off. <laughs> he's, the best wow. he's the best bumper for him. He's a very good bumper for him. He got B's odds on at Chepsa by Fergal O'Brien horse. But Fergal O'Brien was watching a thing on at the races yesterday. He really thinks a lot of the horses have to beat him. It's the form of that bumper. The, the horse that he bet that day is swaying me towards Mike Fabulous. The banger, Banner King Rebel, Jamie Snowden's horse, thinks he's a grade one hurdler. So, I'm going to listen he to won did, He won two weeks ago, didn't he? Yeah, and he's coming over to Ireland, I think, at Christmas. They're hoping yep. that Envoy Allen doesn't run, and if he doesn't run, he's going to come over and contest one of the great ones at Leopard's He's got some good form, in fairness. Mm. I meant to stop the order I want to get off, because you two agreed on something. I mean, that's a fact. Yeah, well, that's fair enough. That's all but, right. Yeah. Um, he has, this, this he week, has got know. some good form. No, you're, I don't want to upset you anymore. Yeah, a bad I'm week. I'm very... Uh, a bad week. Uh, the I last nice. two weeks have hurt me. It's Christmas. So I'd be nice. Week, lads. 
I won't say that now on Monday when if, we get to it. If I had had one thing on me when I could have left it go, but Rock the Casbah or that, and then what if he got, ah, oh, stop. <laughs> Naf's the next best. Yeah, get Naf's the next best in. Anyway, I'm on Mac Fabulous and that. I won't. Same. Uh, go on, Naf. Uh, you have to catch me on the half, yeah. Umbregado, sorry. Umbregado. I, I, don't, I don't mean to be picking the same one. Naf is Umbregado. Really, yeah. Mine's quite Strong enough. I'm sorry, what was that? What? Wow. <laughs> he's got a million, a million pages open on his, uh, on his. And he's sort of closes the and rest. A, of and a Facebook page popped up and of some of some young lady. That was interesting. Wasn't the, Kate? I told you. No, this. it was someone in the gym. <laughs> I told you this last week. I can't even notice. He said his, his laptop is too slow. It's because he doesn't turn it off. At. I have mm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hundred, seven, eight, <laughs> 30, 40, 50, 60, 17, 18, 90, 20. 90, He's not even halfway. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, we don't have 30, time 30, for I have about 45, 50 open. Uh, next best. Mac Fabulous. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Uh, next best is, um, where's he gone? Bellamy the Pictons. Riders on the Storm. Nice. Yeah. Okay. What was your nap? Uh, quite enough. Quite Same enough. race. Oh, it's, oh, oh, it's going to be an interesting race, that. Gonna be a good one. Three thirty-five Saturday. Right. Whoa. Whoa. Props one. Throwing everything away. Uh, right. So that's us done for this week. So next week our Christmas festival video will be up on Monday. So we're going to do that on Monday instead of Wednesday, because obviously Wednesday is Christmas. Uh, so that'll be up Wednesday or Wednesday fucking Monday around five o'clock ish. <laughs> I'm all over the place. <laughs> What day is it today? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm in the cra- I mean, yeah, do you ever get that Christmas time where you just it's don't that, know what day it is? That time of year, lads. I just yeah. don't know what day it is. Yeah, he's drunk every night. Yeah. I says, uh, two, <laughs> bottles, two <laughs> bottles of wine on my desk and all. <laughs> yeah, uh, you do. I know. Uh, yeah, so again, lads, thanks for those comments again. The likes, subscribes, we're going up every week. We're hitting 1,300 views a video now each week, which is great. Uh, so... As I said, next week we will be back with our Christmas festival video, which we call our King George, Leopardstown, uh, Leopardstown, Welsh, 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 Welsh National, Welsh National Leopardstown, Leopardstown, more Leopardstown, more Leopardstown, maybe a bit of Limerick and Leopardstown. So thanks again for watching and come back on Monday for our Christmas festival video.